Well, it's a 2,000-year-old story that I've heard has sold a couple of books. It's the passion coming to television in a brand new way and stepping into the role of um, a certain bad guy, Judas Iscariot, Chris Daughtry. So how's the acting thing going? Uh, we're about to find out. <laughs> uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, this is something I've uh, wanted to do way before I ever picked up a guitar. So uh, Jen Carlos uh, Canella is uh, playing the role of Jesus. You are playing the role of, uh, of Judas. And a lot of the actors will tell us, I Absolutely. love playing a bad guy. <laughs> I, don't think, uh, I don't think it's ever not fun to play the bad guy, you know? Um, I think it's, it's something that we all can kind of tap into in a weird way. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, I was honored to be offered the role. Uh, Jen Carlos is incredible as Jesus. Um, and uh, if, if, considering it's modern day times, if, if they had People magazine back then, he would probably be the sexiest man alive on the cover. I don't know if um, that's sacrilegious or not, but it's, it's definitely, uh, you won't see Jesus the same after seeing this. <laughs> we'll, we'll let you get away with it. So paint the picture for me. This is shot in, and it'll be live, in modern day New Orleans. Instead of robes, you'll, you'll be wearing yes. hoodies. Uh, instead of Roman centurions, it's cops in riot gear. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's, it's incredible how the visual alone is going to, um, I think it's going to, make it uh, very relevant to a younger audience and uh, be a lot more compelling um, uh, and, and relatable. It blows me away that it's a live performance. Now, I don't know if you watched Grease Live on Fox. They set the bar very high. That was an amazing, elaborate production. We're, this is what we're talking about. Yes, I think it's going to be pretty powerful, especially with the songs being modern and, and songs that aren't like your typical, like, church songs or Christian songs. So I think taking these songs and seeing a different meaning and, um, and, and how they relate to the scenes. I think that people will uh, certainly get a positive message from it, uh, whether their background is, uh, no matter what their background is. Um, I feel that there's a message of unconditional love and, and hope and faith that, that I feel like we all could use, uh, especially right now. All right, Chris Daughtry, great to see you. We are so looking forward to The Passion coming up Sunday night, 7 o'clock on Fox 4. See you then.